you, our comrade Ivan Ivanovich Privalov. In 1961, you were selected for the Shukovgrad Interonaut Exploration Programme SSSR. Despite failing your basic physical and being caught cheating on your entrance exams, on the morning of the 12th of April 1962, you boarded a rocket drill containing the experimental device Little Orpheus with the purpose of descending through the Earth's crust to discover the relative hollowness of the interior and its suitability for colonization. No, you've lost me, General. Did I do what? You and Little Orpheus were dropped into an extinct volcano to drill to the center of the Earth and find out if we could establish a city there. Note, if you will, that this date is over three years ago. Ivan Ivanovich, can you describe Little Orpheus to me? Of, of course. <laughs> it was uh, large and round and had something of a disagreeable smell. I was referring to its technical specification. Well, General, I am no man of science. But it had this uh, radio thing that I was supposed to use to let the surface know I had arrived. And uh, some sort of battery wrapped in this lead box. But I was told to not touch anything under any circumstances. And I did notice the engineers who worked on it were quite a shifty bunch. The little Orpheus device contained a radio transmitter capable of sending a signal through miles of solid rock. In order to boost this, a powerful energy source was required. An atomic bomb, comrade Prevalov. An atomic bomb that you have lost somewhere below the Earth's crust. Ah, yes. That bomb. <laughs> of course, General, I can explain everything. But it is a long and somewhat complicated story. And let me assure you, this is not a case of milking chickens. But you won't understand where your bomb and little Orpheus has ended up unless I start at the very beginning and you let me tell you where I've been for the last three years. From the beginning, then. But this had better be good. Good, General. It's more than good. It's extraordinary. And it began like this. An extraordinary sight. I realized this must be the fabled land of Plutonia, as documented by the brilliant scholar Obrachev. A trail of destruction carved by the rocket drill led down into the wild and mysterious jungle. 
the rocket drill itself must have snapped in half somewhere below Kamchatka. And little Orpheus bounced out and became lost in that prehistoric forest. If I was ever to get home, my mission was clear. To find little Orpheus. myself and plunged deeper into that prehistoric jungle where insects the size of dogs buzzed around. Dogs? What sort of dogs? I beg your pardon, General? Large dogs or small dogs? Big like an Avchanka or small like a Barlonka? Does it really matter? Of course. Detail is all important. Avchanka then, General. The size of an Avchanka. I find that very hard to believe. Would you find it easier if they were the size of a balanca? No. But I am enjoying your attempts to persuade me. Another part of the rocket drill, but still no sign of little Orpheus. Larger and more ancient than any known to our modern times. Could it be that Obrachev was right? And deep below the Earth's surface, prehistoric monsters still roam freely. Yes, yes, but little Orpheus. Terrible lizard intent on making a snack of me was none other than the most awful of the monsters, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, 
Now you are an expert on dinosaurs. Oh, hardly an expert, General. Just educated by the best schools in the world, like all good socialists. And I remembered one crucial thing. I'm listening. Well, uh, its greed is without bottom. Its hunger is ferocious. But its brain is absolutely tiny. So it can roar and roar as much as it likes, but it will never be a match for the sharpened mind of the good Soviet worker. All I needed was a plan to outwit the monster. in my shock and surprise to find in that clearing the last part of the rocket drill. More shocking was the fact it had been ransacked. Someone had made off with the tools, the weapons, the rations, and the spare parts for the Pragviev. I began to suspect foul play. Perhaps little Orpheus was not lost at all, but stolen. All I could do was follow the trail further into Plutonia. So we all agree this was the fabled land of Plutonia, do we? I don't remember accepting that. I will admit it might not have been Plutonia if you are prepared to accept the dinosaur. This isn't a negotiation, Ivan Ivanovich. General, you can disagree all you like, but there's very little you can do to persuade me it wasn't a dinosaur. I might not be able to persuade you, but I can always have you shot.
You hid in an egg? Yes, General. I hid in an egg. I am glad to hear your military training was not wasted. If only I had a single legion of men as brave and ingenious as you, with only a hundred men equipped with eggs to hide in, we could roll across Europe in a day. General, are you mocking me? You are as sharp as you are brave, Talarish. I couldn't believe it. I still struggle to believe it. A whole lost city buried in that jungle deep below the crust of the earth. Who would have thought it was possible? Who indeed? It is of course a shame you didn't think to record the moment for posterity and help us all to get over our disbelief. But I did, General, I did. My training was excellent, and I immediately took out my Kamsamolyets and began to document all I could. Where is this camera now, then? Ah, General, yes. 
what of course I, I meant to say was my training was excellent, and I immediately reached for my camera, only to realize it must have been torn from my utility belt in the crash and lost forever in that forgotten jungle. This beast had returned and was hungrier than ever. Perhaps it was angry it had been fooled by an egg-wearing idiot. That is unkind, General. It may have been small of brain, but it was grand of stature. Whereas you, Ivan Ivanovich, are lacking in both departments. Presuming there were no more eggs to hide in, did you have a new plan? I did, General. Please, do tell me, what was this brilliant plan? Like hell, General. Intrepid yet doomed hero survived the jaws of the ferocious dinosaur. Will he meet his end miles underground as an aperitif for a ravenous raptor? What dark secrets could be buried in the lost city of Agatha? Will the general ever discover the location of his lost bomb? All of these questions and more will be answered in the next exciting episode of Little Orpheus!